Dogs. Uh, we're checking out Nectar now. It's an episode of Versus One. Of course, blind dating six women by dogs. I can already see we got some cute dogs today, man. Love to see it. Uh, let's check it out. Fly God is an awesome guy. That's legendary. No, literally, bruh. That's some great song titles. If you're in Gaspital, clean so, back. Dylan, this is Dylan. He's Cyclops. As outside doorsy as me. I go surfing. Uh, I go mm. diving a lot. I have a big dog at my dad's, little dog with my mom's house, and tiny dogs that I used to have at my grandma's. And there's not really any really? that I don't get along with. I just always like uh, well behaved. I definitely understand some of them are <laughs> random. <laughs> Bro, are y'all are y'all just trading bars today? Is that what we're doing? That look he writing a banger today. Uh, well behaved, I definitely understand. Some of them are rambunctious, you could say, but also just how they interact with their owner. That's a mm, real. Okay. Um, I'm Anna. This is Wilson. Um, he is a Pomeranian Husky. Mm. Hi, my name is Monse. W mix. Is Bo. She's half Pomeranian. And we don't really know the other half, so Fair. she's a mystery, honestly. Hi, my name is Natalia. Um, this is Oreo Gomez. She mm. is 16, wow. Peruvian, and a Shih Tzu. Hey, my Sick. name is Kinsley, and this is Oreo. He is a miniature dash hound. Of course, they had to get Oreo Gomez and then just Oreo. Bruh, really? Bruh, I know when I know when the casting director saw this, they were like, oh man, this is gonna be great. Some lies in that room. This is Ollie, and he's a mini golden doodle. My name mm. is Leah. This is Dexter, and he's mm. a great Dane. Dylan. Mm. Dane. Dexter looks like he could do a backflip. Um, I guess. Also, I'm gonna preface this with I'm super, really bad with names, especially okay. if I can't see faces. Fair. Describe them by their dog. Yeah. Um, I think it was Ollie. Is that right? Yeah. Only because I talked to someone that also had the same dog and they look almost identical. Yikes. It's like, I'll receive the file. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> what you want? Say less. I haven't added to this, but. In a minute. Which actually I need to, I just found some good music last night. Uh, Baroque by Yabujin. Low key, a banger song. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. How's it going? Nice I'm to meet you. You're so sweet though, I'm sorry. <laughs> this song hard. She was really pretty, and she seemed really nice, and I was like, this is un unfortunate, but you know, kind of is what it is. <laughs> Hold on, bruh. I'll tell you, I saw this randomly one day, and I was like, bro. What is this? Dog food? Okay. Nice. W. Ollie. All right. So, if your dog could describe you, what would they say about you? Hmm. Hold on. This is hard. <laughs> she would describe me as active, funny, and maybe a little bit reserved. Okay. Wilson would describe me as energetic uh, because I wake up really early and I'm just like bouncing out of bed. Mm. And he would probably describe me as social too. We're always going to the dog park or he's coming out with me. Um, so he meets a lot of people. Some of these types of artists, delivery I have to get used to. That's real. That's real. Have you gotten into like Young Lean a lot or like Blade? Tie Boy Digital, like just that, that like drain gang scene at all. Cause if not, I could definitely understand how it'd be hard to get into that, you know? Cause I think for me, since I'm pretty used to it, you know, I didn't, I wasn't listening to that stuff a lot growing up, but like I listened to enough of it to where it's like, you know, it's mostly normal. But when I first heard stuff like that, I was like, bro, what is happening right now? A lot of different dogs. Yes. Nice. So you guys are early birds? Yeah, we are early birds. <laughs> what time do you guys get up? Uh, I work in fitness, so I get up at 5 a.m. Wow. He gets up around the same time, and we go on an early morning walk, and then he- That's crazy. Walk. Heard some songs, but not enough, real. Go to sleep, 5 a.m. <laughs> That's fair. That works out. <laughs> Oreo would probably say that I am, like, playing- I really like uh, Young Lean's album last year. It was a pretty good album. And annoying, probably because she, like, sleeps 20 hours of the day. So, was that like, last year, or was that the year before? And, like, kiss on her and try to- 
you know, make sure she's alive. And then when like, I'll like poke her and like wake her up from her like long naps. Yeah, I, I was watching. She would find that Start a us. little annoying because I don't really like getting woken up either, so. I resonate with Oreo. I sleep on all the amounts. Yeah. <laughs> so my puppy name is Oreo as well. Uh, <laughs> we got two Oreos back here. Oreo will describe mm. me as- That's almost a pack, fun, low key. Spontaneous, we'll go to okay. the beach and do a picnic together. Or we'll just That was, bro. Just chill, you know, we'll watch Netflix. Um, I'll make him his favorite. <laughs> I'll What's make him his favorite uh, meal, which is filet mignon. And this room is so like uncreative, yikes. <laughs> and we'll just like watch a movie together. I think Dexter would describe me. Get a pinch. <laughs> Stop. Funny. <laughs> and spontaneous because I'm always taking him out to do I them jeans all right I mean you guys have a big car because we do yeah sick <laughs> if you could be an animal I think you could fit in a Miata you be? I would probably be a sloth because oh yeah they just sleep and eat and they're adorable like mm, debatable they come down from like trees like every seven days or so just to poop I would be a sloth I have a sloth interesting on my forearm because my sister's I don't know if it's still her favorite. Low key, they're already a match, bro. But her favorite animal. Range is coarse in an aesthetic way and take pics of it. What? Oh I love that. It's only on my body forever. Huh? <laughs> I would probably be a wolf and actually mm. have a tattoo of a wolf on my forearm. Mm. I like that they're pack animals, so they you know need to be in a family group and a family unit. But at the same time, we all know like the lone wolf thing, and I'm very independent, so it's a little bit of both sides. Okay. I would say. I uh, wish I could find one of those uh, like wolf edits real quick, but I don't know any on YouTube. I'm like a bird. I like to. It's them. They're being creative, yo. Know? I um, and they don't have. <laughs> That's crazy. A flight, so I would probably. If I had a dog, I'd name it something one syllable, so it's easier to call for. That's fair. That's fair. I would probably do that. Specifically, um, one of those like Paris, like the red ones with the green and blue um, like wings. <laughs> like, yes, the macaws. Like, I think they're so Yo. I respect that. I don't want to pay for flights either. Yeah. <gasps> Oreo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you fight, fight, fight. Oreo. <laughs> like Max. Yeah, well, you. okay. <laughs> Like some sort of big cat, so That's fair. it'll be like a toss up between like a lion. You ain't having so much fun, bro. Just beautiful, gracious animals. Also, um, I'm a Leo, so yeah. Bro, who asked? I think <laughs> I would love to be a panda. Okay, okay, that's a good answer right there. And they're cute. That's a good answer. Don't they eat all day? But they just eat bamboo. So that's a good answer, bro. I like that. Just eat all day and be cute and fluffy. <laughs> I always like seeing those videos of like how not so bright they are. I know, right? Oh yeah. They just kind of fall like, out of trees and I yeah. don't know how they're not extinct. I'm I happy know. they aren't, but I- Switching sides. Oh, good girl, Sam. What do you mean? Good girl. Problem. We're gonna eliminate two people this round. Okay. So even better. Um, Great. I guess I'll go with the husky girls or girl with the huskies. I guess. <laughs> like I said, I'm not unfortunately a morning person. I used to be. For real. Now I work nights most of the time, so it's just. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you're a morning person, like shout out to you. But I don't know how people be doing that. But what you mean you're getting up at four in the morning, bro? It's dark out. What well, like what? I don't I don't get how people could do that, bro. At all. I think I would ever be awake to talk to you, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Real. Hi. This is Wilson. Do we have to up with your astrology? Hi. Oh nah. Thanks for uh, letting us. Oh nah. No 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 no. I always I always clown astrology every single time. It's just sometimes I'll acknowledge you know certain things that I may know about myself, but. Uh, you know, even still, it's annoying every time. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my dog would probably be the same. She's at least, at least, especially like whenever it's like random. Like, bro, we're talking about your dog here. I don't care that you're a Leo, bro. Like, like, what does it have to do with anything given the context of this conversation? You feel me? So it's like that type of vibe. Uh, 
But yeah, he's a he's a man. He like thinks he's the king of the dog park, but he's really the menace of the dog park. Mm. I definitely get that's to fair. On the morning, four a.m. is crazy. Yeah, bro. That's the only reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Tell me the place you're born. I'll tell you your income bracket. There we go. See if astrology if astrology told things like that, I'd be able to get behind it for real. But like you know, we'll go with older Oreo, and this is gonna be. So oh man, Oreo Gomez. I'm gonna watch this, and she's gonna think I'm such like an a hole for this. But more I'm seven to eight type of guy. guy like, fair. A month ago, and so oh, man. Low key make me really sad. <laughs> That's real. My other dog, they're technically my aunts. The other one's also like 18. So, yeah, it's man. Here, I'm just gonna pick her up. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Fair, dude. <laughs> I respect that. On their own pace. I'm the same way. Hello. Bro, they did not miss today. I feel like they haven't missed in a while. This is my old dog right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess I get it. It's like I that's I wanted to be a vet and I it's, can't do it's that. Sad. Of that. It's sad. It's sad. I mean, risking racism astrology. People never get behind that. <laughs> so, <laughs> they love their prejudices. Like, well, true. I stopped crying because I was like, like anymore. Very true, bro. And she's just lived with me for so long. So oh, I get it. One was she was so old and she like was blind and deaf. <laughs> out of Yikes! Yeah. So it was like, mm. you know, it's just everybody ages. We will too. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Real. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting so you nice. too. Hey there. Do you guys think Cyclops and I will find love this episode? Like this video to find out. Maybe. We'll back to it. Dylan, it takes a while for Bo to warm up to men specifically. How would you Bruh. navigate that? Actually, my dog in my dad's house is that way. She does not like guys almost at all. She got the full mohawk, barks at them Interesting. 10 feet away. Generally, I let them come to me. I don't kind of seek it out. Like, I'll, if they come up to me, you know, I'll give them love, but I won't actively pursue because I know they're not super comfortable. <laughs> Brett said, okay, I don't do girls, but if she's into astrology, she's racist. <laughs> honestly, though, honestly, though, yeah, I feel like you're not wrong. I feel like you're not wrong. And it doesn't even have to be like, like, it could just be against any race, bro. But it's some race that like, they just, you know, as it honestly, that's that's low key a generalized statement. That's like, there's a lot of truth to it, bro. There definitely is. There definitely is. That's real. For that. So, what are some of your favorite activities to do? With I can't you? lie. That's like that's real. To go on car rides as of late, she's got a weird sixth sense that like if I grab my keys, mm -hmm. or I think it's if I grab my mom's car keys, because mm. so I don't. I'm taking her car if she's making me do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but she just, she gives me that, like, you know. <laughs> Literally, like, bruh. Literally, that's so true. Yeah, like the same way, like he knows the moment I grab my keys, he's like, um, I'm calling shotgun, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, yeah, I guess. Um, very simple question. Do you let- Wait, what? Astrology people are racist. That's the conclusion that we came to just now. Um, so if you into astrology, you're racist. Low key. So my dog is like- I see him approves this message. My, um, and she thinks she's born under the sign of a lollipop and her hubby is a Nutribullet couple goals. <laughs> 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 okay, now we're, now we're just, now we're just yapping, bro. I know for my mom- Now we're just yapping, I can come clean, we're yapping. She can sleep on mine if she wants. Uh, my cat though, he does sleep on my forehead and make me sweat to death. Yikes. Super great. Nice. Yeah, he's in the back right now being surprisingly quiet. How old is your cat? Fair. He's not even a year, so. Nice. He's full grown, he's kind of big, surprisingly. But I thought he was like three. Cyclops, because he's missing an eye. Um, now that you've gone through this final round, do you know what your final two eliminations are gonna be? Sure. <laughs> you do? Um, I guess. We'll go with Oreo, although I love how cute Oreo is. Bro got rid of both Oreos, man. Reason I feel like I'm just more going off of- I've had a pet, nah. Like Not yet, man. Mm. One day. Although I love how fun Oreo's been. <laughs> <laughs> Back and then she had a nerve talking about astrology, like, bruh. Don't care on me, so I'm sad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why? Anyways, adorable, man. Oreos are just replaceable. True. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Great Dane. I love Great Danes, though, but only because. I was about to say, bro, I can't really see a Great Dane and a cat having too much fun playing around, bro. 
to be honest. I feel like that's just too much of a size difference. They just are so big. So that's fair. You know, like coming over to my house, my mom would low key freak out because she's like five foot. That too. That too. Great jeans though. Hey, yeah. Cool fit. Cool fit. You're being so Dexter. sweet. Oh my gosh, you are so big. <laughs> Bro, just vibing, man. I love I know. Great Danes. Yeah. He's I wish we had sweet. room. My mom was gonna let me get a dog, and she's like, it has to be like this big, though. Oh. Um, Yikes. He's a horse. <laughs> it was nice talking yeah, to you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bro can probably just like reach on the counter without even hopping up a little bit. So this is this is your. It's a massive dog, yes, bro. Indeed. Okay, you can come on out. Okay. Did he sell? Did he sell? I don't think he sold. Carrying her in case she hates it. Nah. Her. But Do we'll you want see. A sniff? I smell like cat too. That probably doesn't. Matter. Honestly though, honestly though, bro, and I've said this before, and I'm gonna keep saying this every time. Clothes on animals is weird. It's weird. I don't care. I'm sorry. I think it's weird. I love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. I wish I could dye mine, but everyone tells me not to because mm. they're lying. They're lying to you. The person. Eh. <laughs> Can you get it for me? Yeah. Yo, bro. You like me, bro? <laughs> Not sure. Went for the same pics with the white girl. He definitely did. He definitely did. But you know, there. That's, that's what he felt like. Do you want to say hi to him? Yeah. Maybe like that. I guess. I don't know about them. Freedom. Real. Hi, uh -huh. He's kind of just in his own world. <laughs> See, valid, valid size comparison. I feel like they can have a valid play date. Get you know. Yeah. Perhaps. What? No. Chats. This is what he was afraid of, bro. Oh man. Honestly though, now I'm even more glad that he didn't pick the girl war, cause bro, that would have sucked. Oh man, bro. RIP, bro. Bro was just, you know what I'm saying? Cool interview. Oh man, bro. That's whack, bro. That's crazy. Hey, at least, at least Loki, I feel like this going out with a bang, bro. I can't lie. I can't lie. You live 16 years, you know what I'm saying? Little, little promo run real quick, and then you die, and then it comes out, and it's like, boom, you're immortalized now. I was born my year? Real. Low key, bro, like, I feel like that's kind of hard, to be honest. Most dogs can't do that. Is Oreo go? And then with a name like Oreo Gomez, that's hard, bro. R.I.P. This last season? Nah, for real. It was mad tiny, too. For a tiny dog to be 16, that's hard. I feel like, I thought tiny dogs, you know, didn't live as long. That's cool, though, bro. I mean, not, not really, but, you know. Like she said, bro, you know, everyone dies eventually, bro. R.I.P. Hall of Fame. Nah, for real. We definitely need to retire his number. And you know what I'm saying? Just put it up in a, in, a, in a dog park or something. You know? That'd be hard, bruh. Yikes, bruh. That's crazy, man. I, I was not expecting that at all. Like, at all. Great vid, though.